of Luxembourg stage two. We've had the prologue, we've had stage one, which Christophe Laporte uh, won. I'll link that in the description. Good, good stage, did enjoy that. Anyway, this, the finale of this stage is straight uphill, basically. Finishes with a little bit of flat, but it's a good sort of 30 seconds to a minute climb. Uh, pretty punchy. So everyone's trying to get in real good position because it's pretty technical running. So you can see Kofidis uh, with Christophe Laporte on the left-hand side. Doesn't really suit him, so it's a bit hilly, but some of the other guys like Alex Kirsch, Pasqualon, um, Jan Tratnik, some of the other, these other guys who like sort of climbers, sprinters, punchers, really. I mean, if Sagan was in this race, it would really suit him. That's the sort of finale I'd say it is, similar to Greg, Greg Van Avermaet, Michael Matthews. Sort of that style of finish. And then you can see Delco Marseille again on the left-hand side. A lot of disorganization. There's no real strong team here who's like really going to boss. I don't think there's a single world tour squad here. Um, so there's just no one who you're like, they'll just boss the lead out. Kofidis are looking good, but again, it doesn't really suit them. If this was a flat sprint, um, you can see Adrian Petit is doing his turn because it's not really a stage for him. Derek Tennis, he didn't really have that one, anyone who's that good. Leop Leopard Pro Cycling had a couple guys up there. Top Sport of and thought they might do all right. Uh, and you can see Verandas Willems Classics definitely believe in Alex Kirsch, um, who's wearing the points jersey, I think it is. So he's in the white just behind. Uh, he's not in his normal day glow yellow, which we all love. You can also see uh, Pascal Lon's team, which is uh, wanted group go burr, uh, pointing out some cars there. It's a very technical running. You'll see in a bit that it basically gets real strung out before the finish, just because in these towns in Luxembourg, it's a bit like Belgium, where they just have loads of road furniture and like they don't like to keep the road straight to try and decrease car speed. So you'll see that like that in the finale, like here, there's literally no like meter of straight road. So it means that you keep on having to like accelerate around these corners, which makes it um, a lot more uh, easy to string out. So you can see we've still got uh, we still got a lot of chaos here, really. I mean, no one's taking control. I mean, Aqua, Varane's Classics are, uh, Aqua Protect, Varane's Classics, or whatever they're called, they're doing a decent job. But again, they don't really have that whole team there. It's just a couple guys. There's no one um, really here. And I think I mentioned that a lot in some of these lower spr like sprints, Stages. It's just there's just not enough lead out men to really dominate a sprint anymore. Some aggressive cornering by uh, by what's Delco Marseille finally actually creates a, a stringing out. So you can see here, like it's now actually strung out, um, and this is looking good for Delco Marseille. On this climb, I think the draft definitely does help. Um, so you don't really want to be there straight at the beginning, but Coffitus now decide that they want to go lead out. I'm not really sure who, but they decide they're going to do it anyway because they're Coffitus. So they often just do really weird things. So this Coffitus guy is now on the front. Burnt quite a lot of energy to get there, but he's now got some aggressive cornering well. I'll probably save some energy and manage to just keep it strung out. From now on, everyone pretty much has the same tactics. Just keep it strung out and leave it for their big guys. There's no real special tactics here. Um, and we're now into the bottom of the climb, just about here. And you'll see it gets pretty steep, up to maybe 10, 10 to 15% in that range. Uh, so enough to do some damage, um, but it's not enough really to cause huge gaps. Uh, there's maybe a couple seconds at, m at the most. Um, but I think, yeah, in GC-wise, it's just still sort of those punchy sprinters who are going to do well. Uh, so, you, again, right, this is it, the climb. So you can see Delco Marseille set a real set, solid tempo, and everyone at the back now who's going around that corner then, they just know there's no way they're going to uh, get on the back. So it sort of goes up, then it flattens here, and then it goes up again, and that's really where everyone was trying to make the difference. So you can see Alex Kirsch is in second wheel, the sprinter who came second or third yesterday. Jan Tratnik on the, in the CCC Sprandy Polkovice. He now decides that he's feeling good and he comes to the front to set a real crack of tempo because I think he just wants to try and drop everyone from the front because he's not like really the best sprinter. Totswell Vlander got a decent bloke and Andrea Pascual on for Wanted Group Gobert is also looking good there. You can see Delco Marseille bloke, he went way too hard too early. And Jan Tratnik's now opening a gap up between Pascual and it's just maybe a bike lane. But it's enough that if Pascual can't close it, he really could get away. Again, Totswell Vlander glasses off looking like a proper Belge. And uh, they're up to the top now, so Jan Tratnik really just wants to try and get across. So he now like looks around and tries to see if anyone else wants to work. But no one really does because uh, it's sort of like you don't want to work and then keep it away. But if your sprint's like, if your sprint is then compromised, if you know what I mean. Anyway, some shocking camera footage here, as we can see. Some blokes get in the way. You can't really see what's going on, but it seems like everyone's basically riding 90%, 80%, uh, not 100% full gas. Like they want to stay away. You can see Delco Marseille blokes trying to get across. Alex Kirsch takes this corner pretty pretty well and then just starts the sprint early. He tries to box out Pasqualon on the left-hand side of the road, but Pasqualon is too strong. Managed to hop round him at the very end and that takes that win. So that was an absolute great stage from Tour of Luxembourg. Classic finish, a bit like um, some of the spring classics like Flash uh, Sort of similar uphill finish to that and then goes on to the flat, similar to Cowbag, obviously a little bit shorter.
But anyway, there's the GC pass. Uh, no, there's the stage results. Uh, Pascal on got it. Then Alex Krieger. Then Kirsch um, and Jan Tratnik. So anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.